Always look on the bright side of life. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today I'm going to. Well, I'm, what I'm basically doing at the moment is I'm, I'm sorting out because I'm going to go on another camping trip. My next two days I get off, I'm going camping because. Usually I do a lot more camping than I have done this year. I've been pretty busy and, you know, I'm, I'm starting to miss it a little bit. I miss being around the sea and anyway, I may be mind up. I'm going camping in the, in the next, my next two days off, which is, which will be next week now. But I'm out and about sorting stuff out and I've been given a recommendation to go to a, a little cafe and it's in a place called Bucklebury which is near Newbury and I had a look on the website and it's been taken over in 2023 so it's relatively new anyway a couple of my mates went there the other day and they said go and try this place because it is pretty decent and they sent me a photo of what they're eating and it did look good so I'm heading off to Bucklebury now and I'll show you where I'm going so here we are guys this is the Blackbird the Blackbird Calf at Bucklebury uh, it's right next door to the Bladebone, which I'll give you a fun fact about later on. So it looks quite cool, this little place, and it's got a bit of outside seating as well. Right, so I've got it, and I'm going to go down the road and eat it. I've got to be honest, it did look really decent, to be fair. Right, so I went in there, and I looked on their website, so I knew what I wanted when I went in, so I didn't actually read the menu. Now, I asked for a BLT, and they didn't have the ingredients all the ingredients to do that but what they did do is they offered me an alternative they said we haven't got exact ingredients but we can do something similar now that is golden to me you know that's what I wanted and they they they, they went out of their way to make something similar so that's all you need to do with someone like me now the other thing that stood out to me straight away is is the packaging now my mate recommended this place and he knows you all like my packaging now they give it everything's in paper there's, and there's no plastic lid to this cup so the whole lot's recyclable and I, I, I really commend that as well I think that's a great thing to do now this place looks great on the counter it had lots of homemade cakes and pastries and um, it had a good menu it had, a, um, it had quite a sort of global menu it had like shakshuka and spinach Potica, I think it is, which is like I think it's like a phyllo pastry with um, feta cheese. I'm I'm not sure. It's a Greek thing, and a lot they did toasted sandwiches and they did. But what what I noticed was everything was high high quality. Now this lot cost me fifteen pound fifty, and I'll show you what I got. So I got your standard tea, and you could have it like you want it. A strong, weak, you know, um, and yeah, I was impressed by that. So I have gone for something similar to a BLT. Now, now to be fair, they aren't far off it. So it's got tomato. So I'll show you it. That's basically what I've gone for. And it's tomato, avocado, mayo, butter, avocado, tomato and bacon basically. And that's on a sourdough, lightly toasted sourdough. It looks great. I've got to be honest, it looks great, and they serve it in these little paper trays, so again, fully recyclable packaging, and I also went for a slice of coffee cake, which again, homemade coffee cake, homemade coffee cake, and a similar to a BLT basically, you know, and that's basically what we got, and it looks good. Now the bacon is from a local butcher, which I believe is greens and their greens are pangborn. So let's have a little go on this sandwich. Mm. Yeah, that's decent. The bread, it's all high end quality good ingredients. The bread is, is an actually actual showstopper. Beautiful sourdough. Great taste in bacon, avocado, even the tomatoes have got good taste in tomatoes in there as well, which is nice. And I've got a bit of mayonnaise in there as well. This is very high quality. So, fun fact about the Bladebone pub at Bucklebury. Now, I've done a bit of work around here once, and I ended up 
going in there after work a few times and I met Chris Tarrant in there. So Chris Tarrant lives local to here and that's his local pub. Um, fun fact for some people, maybe not for others, but there we go. So like I say, I paid £15.50 but the cake looks decent and the, the, the sandwich that the, this lady's made me is, is phenomenal. Proper decent sourdough. Yeah, yeah, really good. And one of the girls that works there, she sat down um, on the table next to me and brought her own food out. And that looked awesome as well. You know, she had decent um, poached eggs on there and the toast looked great. It was all the like, tomatoes and so like Honestly, like, this place, everything you looked at, looks really good quality so this is going to get a very high score from me and I've done reviews in the past where the food's been so bad it's been so bad I've had to kick it across the road now if you're one of these places that I have scored low you want to get yourself down here to the Blackbird Calf in Bucklebury and see how it how they're doing it and how it should be done, and, you know, you'd learn a lot by just coming here and eating in here. Absolutely incredible. I think that that could quite possibly be the best bacon sandwich I've ever had. It just all worked really, really well. I got offered the choice of salt and pepper, I had pepper with it. Honestly, they can, it, it, is, it, was, it was just so good. Right, let's have a go on this old cake then. I was swigging my tea first. Decent tea as well. So that's the coffee cake. Wow. Do you know what? I really like this. This isn't really coffee. Like a really intense coffee. It's just a nice little hint of coffee in there. And you've got the walnuts. And I think there might be dates or bits of walnut going through there. But this is it. This is incredible as well. So I just had a bit with the icing on it. It's got like this cream icing which has got the coffee in it. And... Yeah, I mean, that works. Just incredible. So when I drove down here today, I wasn't expecting it to be that good. I don't know why. I just, you know, I thought... But that was exceptional. So what would I score it? Do you know what? I'm not even going to score it. It, it. It's that good. You know, it, I'm not going to justify it by scoring it. So it's 10 out of 10. It's just, wow, what a, what a showstopper. And I'll definitely be back here. Like I say, anybody who wants to see how it's done professionally and properly, get yourself down there. Customer service was absolutely excellent and the food, the quality of all of the food spoke for itself and yeah, I really enjoyed that. That is quite honestly one of the best coffee shops or cafes I've, I've, I've ever been to and I go to a lot of them. So yeah, so this is the Blackbird Cafe at Bucklebury. Get, guys, get yourself down there. They're, they're, they're doing a cracking thing down here. And, yeah, that that was mind-blowing. Absolutely, yeah, that's, that's one of the best I've ever had. Really, really enjoyed that. And you can also sit in as well. It was a lovely atmosphere in there, you know. It had been decorated really nicely and it had outdoor seating as well if you wanted to sit outside if it's sunny. And, yeah. You know, like I say, totally recommend it. 10 out of 10 as far as I'm concerned. And I'm in a good mood. I'm going to go home. I'm going to have beer of the week. Right, so I got back. Um, I'm going to do beer of the week now. I'll show you what I've got. So I've got Tut, tut Clump Perry. Now, Tut Clump's uh, cider is brewed very near to where I've just been, which is Bucklebury and as I was going past the cider farm I thought I'd nip in I've got a few bottles but I'm going to have a go at this Perry now so this is obviously a pear cider and it's still no fizz to it at all cheers it is a little bit fizzy actually it reminds me of of pear drops so you get an intense pear flavour and then it disappears. Sweet, but it's it's very sweet for me. But yeah, it's quite nice. I probably prefer a drier cider, I think. But yeah, that ain't bad. Right, so 
I've just been to the Blackbird Cafe, Blackbird Cafe in Bucklebury, next door to the Bladebone pub, and all I can say was I was blown away by that. From start to finish, the customer service was absolutely excellent. They didn't have what I wanted on the menu, so they made me something similar. It was basically the same, but no lettuce in it, um, which didn't didn't matter to me because they made the effort to to um, make it. And I just got to say how good it was. Now, when I went to score it, I scored it ten out of ten, didn't I? And the reason I scored it ten out of ten was because I sat there and thought, what can I fault it on? And I couldn't fault it. That, that, was, that was the thing if I, if I can't fault it it's got to score top marks hasn't it so yeah to anybody going down to Bucklebury or if you're in the local area make the detour it's really worth it Blackbird Cafe 10 out of 10 from the Mighty Mansfield so I'm going to wrap this video up now and it's on a good note I'm going to, I'm going to finish this off and then I'll obviously get ready with work tomorrow again I suppose but thanks for watching cheers